Okay, this is called Living Off the Land, and we have a really big problem here in rural Mississippi. It's not that rural, but uh, where I live, we have a lot of woods and trees, and we have a squirrel problem. The squirrels eat my bird seed, the squirrels crawl, crawl all over our house, the squirrels crawl in our house, in our attic, and so, we sometimes have to go and take care of that problem with a shotgun. So my husband was able to get two squirrels today in our backyard. Uh, that's two less and one was male. So that's gonna control the part of the population. And I decided I would tackle cleaning squirrels and uh, so, I've already cleaned my first one, and I think I did pretty good. Yes, all clean, and no hairs. <laughs> That's the worst thing about squirrel. I have had squirrel before where they did not clean the hairs off of them good, and if you don't do it right, it's just really nasty. So this squirrel is going to go into my Instapot, which is over here. So I'm just gonna lay it down in there. And now I have another squirrel. So, I'm gonna to attempt to do this where the, this squirrel skins very nicely and uniformly. So, <clears throat> First off, you have to cut behind the tail. And you try not to cut the skin, but you cut under the skin and get a little flap going. You have to break the tail. He's already dead, or she. And so, you cut a little bit more under the skin, get a nice flap, then you go under the, the skin, around the top of the leg area here, and get that good and loose. Can't see that, I know. Um, do it this way. See that. Just loosening the fascia from the skin area. Do it over here some more. Okay, I think we're back. Hopefully this is gonna do it. So now we have to go outside. <laughs> and it's better if you have a boot on to do this, but I do not right now. So, so what are we gonna do? So I'm gonna lay the squirrel down. I'm going to put my foot right here where I've cut. Let me see. So I've got my foot on the tail and then I'm gonna pull up and it's gonna slip out. <laughs> this is the part. I gotta put all my weight right here. Oh, look at that. See that? can keep my foot on it. And da-da! Look at that naked squirrel. And then just grab this part right here. If you can. And I'm gonna pull down. 
but I broke that, so it is going to come off. Probably didn't cut into that as much as I should have. But here we go. One leg. If I'd done it right, they would have both come off at the same time. But actually, I was not using a true hunting knife. I was using my Cutco, which is pretty, they're good, but they're not as built to do this. So, this is very slippery. But anyway, get the idea. Nice and clean. Very few hairs on there. And now, to do the rest. So, I will finish gutting. This is small squirrel, but anyway, it'll serve the purpose. Okay. Got a few little hairs on it, so I'm gonna clean those off. Well, my hair is all over the place. There's some hairs on this mat. That'll just sit back on it because the skin is kind of sticky. And the hairs just like to stick to it. Now this part where I hadn't got that skin all the way off. I'm cutting that right there anyway. That's it. Right at a knuckle. So let me get my hair out. And go ahead and cut that one. As well. At the joint. Okay. Now to cut. Inside, I'm gonna lift it up here a little bit. Do a little cut at the base, and then just run this knife so as not to get the internal organs. I know I got family out there going, "Oh, how can you do that?" <laughs> Called. You know what? You always need to be training for survival skills. Because look at what's going on right now. Look at what's going on. There is a meat shortage. Alright, so I don't know if you want to see this. But close your eyes if you don't. This is the internal organs. I like science. And I've done biology class, taught biology classes before. And we didn't, we didn't do a squirrel, but... Uh, we did a lot of other animals, and this is really cool. All this is connected. All I'm doing is breaking some of the connected tissue, and if you get a hold of it, you can pull almost everything out at one time. Just like that. Ta-da! Now, the heart's still in there. You can get the heart and the lungs all come out at once. Just gently pull and it'll come out. And now, I'm just going to rinse it out. Yeah, that's, that's how I am. I just feel like if you kill an animal, it should serve a purpose. Now, off with her head. And cut at the wrist. First, can I break it? And one more. Should 
pull my hair back. And there we have it. That is pretty clean squirrel with a lot of meat on there. Legs are pretty meaty. This is a female. Try to wash some of this blood off. She got shot in quite a few places. I don't see any shot, but there may be some in there. But that'll come out when we cook. Okay, so meat, meat, just as good as you buy in the store, but fresher. Okay, now let's go over here. So down into the Instapot, two squirrels, and I'm gonna add some broth to that and maybe some spices, at least some salt and pepper. And we're gonna set this for 10 minutes and see what we have when it gets done. So I've got the squirrels in the Instapot. I set it for 10 minutes and I ended up putting in chicken broth. I debated between beef or chicken. I decided, oh, chicken's always good. So a um, cup of chicken broth and uh, salt and pepper, and I put in some, for my spice, I decided on rosemary. I was going to put a bay leaf in, but I thought, oh, rosemary's good. Rosemary's good on turkey and chicken. So we're treating this like chicken. So put some rosemary in there, and we'll see in about 10 minutes or so how it turns out. So the pressure cooker just finished, or the Instapot just finished. And I'm gonna let it um, depressurize on its own naturally instead of turning the vent, you know, and letting the steam come off. Uh, that's gonna make it even more tender. And we'll check back with in about 10 more minutes. I can't wait to see, hoping the meat is just falling off the bone. So we'll come back and see. So we got one minute on time right now uh, for depressurizing. So it's gonna take about 10 minutes. See you shortly. Okay, so I'm done. The squirrel's done. I actually added four more minutes to the Instapot because it wasn't quite as tender as I wanted it to be. And so when I took it out the second time or checked on it, um, one of the squirrels was just falling off the bone. The other one was not, but it was pretty easy to get off the bone. So here is what I have ended up with. You can see. Kind of looks like barbecue, shredded meat. And this meat can be used any way you want it. You can add it to a soup or a stew, or uh, I think I can eat it just like this on a sandwich or on a salad. And I'm gonna taste a little bit. Pretty good, that piece. Just a tad bit chewy. I actually think that one squirrel was older. And it was the one that I had to pull off the bone more. But the young squirrel is more tender. So, 
This is gonna be just fine. There's another bone. Get that out to be used. And you will never have to go hungry if you come to my backyard. I have squirrels for everyone. So if they run out of chicken at the grocery store, come and see me. Have a great day.